Hi there, my name is Laura and I'm going to share a quick demo with you of CyberArk Identity Flows. Identity Flows is a low code, no code workflow designer that allows you to build identity automation processes through a simple drag and drop UI. You can easily add new endpoints, connectors, and logic quickly into the Flows Builder to orchestrate and automate a wide variety of different identity management processes, uh, tasks, or events. Flows can be used for a number of different use cases, including inbound HR provisioning, outbound application provisioning, event-driven workflows, and scheduled workflows, just to name a few. In this demonstration, I'm going to walk through a few different examples of how you may want to leverage flows. First, I'm going to show how to automate inbound HR identity provisioning to CyberArk Identity. This is a very simple flow that reads users from the SAP Employment API endpoint. We're expecting an array of results to be returned to us, so we set up a loop to loop over each one of the entries returned and those results. For each entry, we go through and we query to see if the user exists in CyberArk Identity. If the user does not exist, we'll go on the left branch. We'll go down the left branch here and create the user inside of CyberArk Identity. If the user does exist, we'll go down the right branch and update that user and update the attributes about the user. After we complete that, we'll loop over every entry and continue the loop to loop over each entry in those arrays and complete this exact same process for every result that was returned from our initial query. This is a good example of inbound HR provisioning from an HR source to CyberArk Identity. The next use case I'm going to show you is an example of an event-driven use case. I am going to load up another flow here inside the builder. I'm going to minimize this flow so it shows a little better on the screen. OK, so inside this flow, we are doing a couple of different things. The first thing we're doing is to actually query the proof point API endpoint, which gives us the uh, VAP, Very Attacked Person Index Score. This is threat monitoring data from our application here, proof point, that provides us with insights on the user and how they're being attacked. So perhaps they've opened a phishing email and have been subject to, or, uh, or they've been subject to um, an MFA bombing attack, there's an index number score, and we can use that to take action. So after we query those users again, we're expecting an array of users to come back. So we set up a loop to loop over each entry inside of that array. Uh, we then pause for a second, just to make sure we're not hitting API rate limits and stuff like that inside of this flow. Then we query to get the user's uh, endpoint for CyberArk Identity to see if that user exists. If that user exists, we're going to come down the left path and we're going to compare to see what the attack index is versus the threshold. Now, if the attack index is above the threshold, we're going to come down here to the left path. And then we're going to check to see if the user is already in a risky persons group inside of a CyberArk Identity. If that user is not inside a risky persons group um, in CyberArk Identity, we're going to go ahead and add him or update the user record inside CyberArk Identity and place them in that group. What this is going to do for us is actually change the user's authentication policy inside of CyberArk Identity to require stronger verification that the user is who they say they are. So could be an MFA mechanism with stronger assurance level, like a FIDO2 token or uh, whatever is configured in the policy. And that policy is meant to be applied in a higher risk situation so attackers couldn't gain entry just with the username and password. Then we continue that loop. So as we loop through those users, there's another path that we can actually take or a couple paths we can take. If the user doesn't exist, we're going to ignore him and continue the loop. If the user does exist but doesn't meet the threshold, 
we're going to come over here to the risky persons group and actually remove that user by doing a patch on him to the API endpoint. So this is a good example of an event driven process based on a third party product and the user's VAP score. Now this could be CrowdStrike. It could be a number of different tools or apps that track users risk and we can take actions upon those inside of these workflows. Now, workflows can be run in a number of different ways. We can schedule workflows to run on a time schedule, which this one here is an example of, or uh, we can actually turn every workflow into an API app endpoint by just checking a box. Over here on the programmatic access, then telling it how we want to authenticate the user. We support a number of different authentication authentication mechanisms, but API key and basic auth uh, are the most prevalent. So that's another event driven flow or use case that CyberArk Identity Flows can help to address. To learn more about how flows can address your specific needs, please reach out to set up a personalized demo. Thank you.